You look pretty good. Pretty good or yeah. really good? Really good. <laughs> okay, thank you. Hi guys, I'm Steph. This is Dan. We're Steph and Dan. And we have moved to Calgary, Alberta from Toronto, Ontario. And we essentially today just want to tell you our story. There's a hair in my face. Oh, no. About why we made the move and trekked all across the country, uprooted our family. By family, I just mean our dog, ourselves, and this little one that's soon to be here. That's right. We're currently on our new porch of yes. our new house. In our new chairs. Back in Toronto, we we're living in a one bedroom condo, uh, one plus den. And, you know, we were fine living like that for a while, building our real estate business. Yep. We have a dog, a lassie dog. His name is Zeus. He's a big boy. But for just the two of us and Zeus, like it was perfectly fine. More than happy, like love Toronto. But what ended up well, happening? <laughs> that ended up happening. That's what happened. So essentially what happened was this. I got pregnant and we were sitting in our house one evening and we were like on this tiny couch and we were like, we have no place to sit like i don't have a place to put my feet up i was getting sore and uncomfortable and we're like okay let's go get a bigger couch let's get a sectional so we went out we did the fun thing we found the couch we bought the couch we brought it home we moved it in and he had a meltdown yes i had a meltdown the, the couch pretty much took up our whole apartment and then i was like steph we can't live here anymore where we got a baby on the way and we need need more space so we decided to sit down and figure out our next move yeah and figure out you know where we want to be in life where we want to be with our growing family and um our daughter on the way and and, and not only that but what we enjoy doing in our life because we've been together for quite some time now like we actually just got married June 4th, 2023, so that's fairly recent, but we've been engaged for six years, been together for about nine, and we know each other really well. We know what we like to do, we have our routines, we have our lifestyle. And so when we were searching for places to maybe move to, it's not like we suddenly thought Calgary right away. In fact, we were looking on the outskirts of Toronto, like right. maybe Oshawa, maybe Pickering, because realistically, like that's easier to make that move than coming all the way out to Calgary. We talked about it and with our lifestyle and what we enjoy doing, we just didn't see ourselves living more than an hour away from downtown Toronto, just with the things that we like to do. We like um, going into the city. We like going to events, um, you know, things like that. So with the way things are in Ontario right now, and it's pretty obvious that things have become more expensive. There's an affordability issue in and, Toronto. And, and like, we're realtors guys. So we see this stuff every single day. Right. And we work with clients and first time home buyers and investors and Toronto's expensive and it's getting increase yeah. and increasingly more expensive. Yeah, so for our situation being that we were renting a one bedroom apartment in Toronto and we were going to go and rent a house uh, somewhere in the suburbs, we just couldn't see ourselves paying 3500 even $4,000 a month to live in Oshawa or Hamilton or Barrie, you know, not to say that I'm, I'm knocking any of those places. It's just, it's it was too, too far, far out. Yeah, it's too, too far. far out for what we personally like. Exactly. So we're like, okay, let's look outside of Ontario. What else is there? Now, luckily, Dan has lived in Calgary, Alberta before. So I was heavily reliant on his opinion of Alberta. I do also have family that lives here. So that was a major plus. <laughs> that was a major plus for us that like, if we came out here, we're not going to be alone. We're going to have family. Mm -hmm. um, but because Dan has been here before, I heavily relied on him saying, we're going to love it here. There is an abundance of nature. There's mountains. I really miss the mountains being in Ontario, Toronto. There's no mountains. There's there's big hills, but it's not the same <laughs> thing. <laughs> One of the main factors that we decided on Calgary was the fact that we could get a three, four bedroom home, a detached lot with a fenced backyard for our dog and still be within 
you know, depending on where you are in the city, still be within 15, 20 minutes of the airport, of a major airport, and still be within a 25 minute drive to a downtown major city. So that was the, that was the main reason why we set our sights on Calgary and decided that we were going to partake on this uh, adventure across Canada to move our growing family. So essentially on an affordability standpoint, what we're renting currently here in Calgary is pretty much what our one bedroom plus den and parking apartment went for in Toronto. So we literally just made an, a, a lateral movement into a way bigger house. I think we have over I think it's close to 2,000 square feet we have in, the, in, this, in this place. We have three bedrooms, uh, a finished basement with an additional bedroom, uh, three, ba three and a half bathrooms, a fenced backyard, uh, a nice front porch, as you can see we're sitting on right now, for pretty much the same rental price that we were paying for in Toronto. So, I mean, that's pretty awesome. And if you think about how much we're paying for rent for this place, for example, and then if we wanted to get a similar home in Toronto, well, it just wouldn't happen in Toronto. We would have to right. go to the outskirts. We'd be about an hour, maybe more away. And that would have run us approximately probably like 3,500 to 4,000 right. to get this exact home. Right. So by moving out here we're actually saving money every month which brings me to my next couple points is you save money in calgary guys the tax is less so a girl can go shopping and not pay the extra tax i've been really enjoying that especially for this one like going out and getting her some clothes just in general living in alberta and living in calgary life is just you know it's not life is happy yeah it's not it's not dirt cheap it's still somewhat expensive to live here but you'll definitely notice that life is just cheaper taxes are cheaper gas is cheaper housing is cheaper whether you're renting or buying you're just gonna find that your dollar goes a lot further here so i guess we should also tell them how we feel about the crime situation yeah so i mean it's not just about affordability or the ability to get more space in calgary that really brought us here another thing that we have seen a lot more of as of late in toronto is that there's there's tending to be a lot more crime in the city uh, we definitely don't feel as safe so as a young family who is bringing a child into this world soon we just felt way more comfortable coming out here to calgary and specifically living in the suburbs where life is just a little bit safer and we feel comfortable walking around a neighborhood with our little one and to be honest as of late especially over the last couple years Toronto has become a lot more dangerous to us so that was a big factor in our move as well yeah and I don't know if we mentioned this but by the way we were living in downtown Toronto and I'm not going to get into details of like what happened in our condo building but we lived in a nice area like good condo building but there was a shooting in our building and so we're coming from a place where we have like experience like a situation um and it, we just like when you watch the news and things like that like these are things that happen in yeah. toronto um whereas we just feel really safe in calgary like right now we're sitting on our front porch filming um this is a family neighborhood you see people with strollers walking by it's really fantastic there's literally a lake right across there's nature everywhere there's five parks around us i love the fact that in calgary the plazas in these different neighborhoods and locations um like around calgary are all encompassing so like you'll find a walmart you're, you'll find a costco you'll find like a grocery store pet store all these things that you need to live or and or would want are in each section whereas in toronto and this is interesting you know walmart would be over there costco's over there canadian tires over there grocery stores over there um and you like it kind of takes some time to get to those things right if you're in downtown toronto yes a lot more things are closer together but you're not going to find those bigger stores whereas in calgary you can find those bigger stores in the plazas there's just more room here and the streets are bigger it's easier to drive less traffic i'm yeah. happy here 
Yeah. I like it. So Dan and I are really excited to share our journey here in Calgary, Alberta. If you guys want to be a part of it, we'd love for you to hit the subscribe button, come back, hang out with us again. And until next time, we'll see you soon. See you guys.